Hi, it's Carrie. You're going to see what's in one of my three boxes today. I've got lots of special dinosaurs. Spinosaurus possessed a long narrow skull resembling that of a crocodile and nostrils near the eyes instead of the end of the snout. Tyrannosaurus lived throughout what is now Western North America on what was then an island continent known as Laramidia. Argentinosaurus used its long neck to reach into conifers or sweep the ground in search of ferns and bushes. Spinosaurus, its teeth were straight and conical instead of curved and blade-like as in other theropods. Good for grasping slippery fish. The terrifying Dilophosaurus lived in the early Jurassic period. Its name means double crested reptile. It was an aggressive, medium sized carnivore that feasted on small plant eating dinosaurs and reptiles. Tyrannosaurus hatchling. If you look close, you can see cracks in the eggshell. See his little claws just coming out. It was the last known member of the Tyrannosaurids and amongst the last non-avian dinosaurs to exist before the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction. Like other Tyrannosaurids, Tyrannosaurus was a bipedal carnivore with a massive skull balanced by a long heavy tail. Relative to its large and powerful hind limbs, the forelimbs were short but unusually powerful for their size and had two clawed digits. T-Rex would have weighed somewhere between 8.4 and 14 tons when alive. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Triceratops and Brachiosaurus Monolophosaurus meaning one crested lizard it had lots of sharp teeth and a long thin head it is related to Dilophosaurus and Liliosaurus Tyrannodon may have hunted like a modern day pelican scooping up fish from the ocean Although other theropods rivaled or exceeded Tyrannosaurus rex in size, it is still among the largest known land predators and is estimated to have exerted the largest bite force among all terrestrial animals. Carcharodontosaurus includes some of the longest and heaviest known carnivorous dinosaurs, with lengths up to 13 meters and weighing up to 8 tons. Their skull had a length of about one and a half meters. The teeth were up to 20 centimeters long, good for slicing through prey and tearing it apart. Dinosuchus was a frightening crocodilian with a powerful jaw and robust teeth for crushing prey. It was over 10 meters in length and could weigh up to eight tons. Baryonyx was primarily a fish eater. It had a very narrow skull and the upper jaw contained a sharp angle near the snout that helped to prevent prey from escaping, much like a crocodile. Notice the small triangular crest on the top of the snout. Dinochirus. Its arms were up to 2.3 meters long with large blunt claws on its three-fingered hands. 
the legs were relatively short and bore blunt claws, it was an omnivore. Anhangera had a long crested beak with an unusual bulbous end shape. It was a fish eater. This is a Jurassic World Pteranodon. Pteranodon mostly ate fish and of course was a flying reptile, not a dinosaur. I've added a bit more paint to that one to make it a bit brighter. Oh, you can see inside it there. Pteranodon had a large crest on its head and a very short tail. Aha! Jurassic World Velociraptors. This is Echo. So the arms move. The jaw stays in one place, it can't move. There's some leg movement there. Very nice. These dinosaurs do need help to stand up though. You can see I've painted its tongue. Aha, here's Charlie. Again with a painted tongue. Beautiful green colour. And look at that eye. Movable arms. And the legs don't move on this one. And a curved around tail. Next we have Blue. Have a look at that. Oh! That's a bit noisy. Yes, the legs move and the arms move. Let's see what else it does. Yes, I've got it working. And I'll flip it around and let's see what happens. Bit annoying. And here is Delta. Again, I've painted her tongue. Yes, long livable arms. Legs aren't moving. And her jaw doesn't move either. Again, she does need help to stand up. This is the gyrosphere from Jurassic World. The little man sits in there. And when you press that button, you can see the two hatches open. You can shoot that. Let's see if we can get blue. Gotcha! So there's wheels on the bottom so it can move along. And that's the button you press. Oh, well done! Argentinosaurus. It laid eggs about the size of a rugby ball. A young Stegosaurus. T Rex was also an opportunistic scavenger, just like modern day lions, tigers, and predatory birds. Stegosaurus had 17 bony plates on its back and a heavily spiked tail for protection. The tail was a lethal weapon. Parasaurolophus. It was a hadrosaurid, part of a diverse family of 
Cretaceous dinosaurs known for their strangely shaped skulls and head adornments. Gastornis was a large flightless bird. Notice the size of the skull and beak compared to the rest of the body. Its beak may have been used to crack hard foods like nuts and seeds. Kalankan is a genus of giant flightless predatory terror birds. It most likely chased down and killed its prey with several bone shattering blows from its massive beak. Pentaceratops. It had a curved toothless beak for nipping off leaves. Its large ornate crest was used to protect from and deter predators. Giganotosaurus would use its teeth to slash the flesh of prey, aiming for the legs and underbelly. Prey would weaken through blood loss or infection. Giganotosaurus targeted the leg muscles to try and sever a tendon. Carnotaurus had a distinctive look with its thick horns above the eyes and a very deep robust skull with a slender low jawbone sitting on a muscular neck with a broad snout. It had a strong open bite with long slender teeth and could swallow small prey whole. Allosaurus. It most likely ate large plant-eating dinosaurs like Stegosaurus or medium-sized sauropods. Allosaurus was the most abundant predator in Lake Jurassic. Its main competitor for food was Ceratosaurus. Ankylosaurus was a prehistoric tank with oval plates protecting its whole body except the underbelly. It would defend itself by swinging its club-like tail from side to side. The tail swing had enough force to break the leg bones of most carnivores. The four spikes on the end of Stegosaurus's tail could be swung under the unprotected belly of a predator with deadly force. A phagomizer is the distinctive arrangement of the spikes on the tails of Stegosaurus dinosaurs. Pteranodon By far the largest carnivore in its environment, Tyrannosaurus rex was most likely an apex predator, preying upon hadrosaurs, armoured herbivores like ceratopsians, which would include triceratops and ankylosaurs. Dimetrodon is an extinct genus of synapsid that came long before the dinosaurs, around 295 to 272 million years ago. The distinctive spines of Spinosaurus, which were long extensions of the vertebrae, grew to at least 1.65 metres and were likely to have had skin connecting them, forming a sail-like structure, although it may have been more hump-like than sail-like. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.